Hey everybody, Logan here. So I did a thing. I know, I think it was in a previous video somewhere, podcast, I don't know. Said I wasn't going to do it. But I did it. And that's... Yeah. Yeah. And I bet you're asking, why did I get the Call of Duty version? Because I already have Spider-Man 2. Physically. Do I plan on playing it? Maybe someday. Not anytime soon. Uh, I got too many, too many games on plate. But, I did buy this. And it's funny because this isn't what I went in there for. I went in there for this. One controller. One controller. Ended up getting both controllers and the console. <sighs> so I walked into Best Buy because I know the controllers are on sale. They have a early Black Friday thing going on depending on when you're watching this. The sale might already be over. Hopefully it's not, but heck. So controllers went from 75 to 50, so I'm just going to get the red one. Just just the red one cuz it's red bandana gaming. Come on. And then my wife said, "How about you just get them both?" And then do a video and all this other stuff and I went. Fuck. We got up to the register and then a whole stack of these back there. And we know how Black Friday is, whether something's on sale or not. And these aren't going to be on sale for any other price, no other bundles. Not to my knowledge, and I've seen a lot of this stuff. So, lo and behold, she said, just get it. And I was like, ah, do, do you think I can make a decent video off of this? What do you think I can do? I know I've already had the, the Japanese one, and I have my regular one. So what do I do? What do I do? Open it up. Let's see it. Let's take a look at the console. Make a video. That's what I'm doing. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, I don't know what to expect from this console. I actually haven't seen any other uh, content creators, any other YouTubers. I know Spawn Wave did one, but it, I haven't watched anybody else's video because honestly, like I said, I didn't plan on picking this up. So let's open this up. Let's take a look. I know how Nick Newell feels. Did, did you see that video of his? Okay. <laughs> let's open this up. All right. So here we go. I know it's an odd angle, but um, I'm not used to opening things this big on this table. That's what she said. Wait. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So as you can see, this is the slim with the disc version. Uh, internet and PlayStation Plus required for online multiplayer. So I guess you guys have come to realize I don't plan on playing this because I don't have PlayStation Plus. And I probably won't renew it anytime soon. So this I probably will just play the uh the single player and that's it if i decide to play it otherwise uh, i might give it to one of my friends i don't know if he has it or not or if he's going to get it on xbox or whatnot but with that being said i decided to go with the playstation version i mean the playstation version the uh modern warfare the call of duty version like i said because i do not have this and i do have the spider-man so like most PlayStation editions, this is just a sleeve on it. Let's take a look at the back. Play like never before. Console, controller, swimmy guys. I guess that's in the game. And the stuff about the game. That's about it. Lightning speed, breathtaking immersion, stunning games. Rated M for mature. All right. Let's open this up. Yes, because that is a beautiful shot of just this. And th they did the same thing they always do. The inside box is beyond boring. It's just a plain white box. So as you guys can see, it's just a plain box. Sony does not get fancy with anything. 
Okay, so that's the bottom. The top. We've got haphazardly thrown in here. Power cable. USB cable. HDMI cable. <laughs> what a sad, sad little stand. That's right, I need to buy the vertical stand because where I have this in my game room because I moved my PS5 from the game room into the living room so this is going to replace the one that I moved to the living room. Plain white. Nothing special in here. Now we move this to the side. There you go. That's the PlayStation 5. Nothing special. Good night, everybody. No. All right. So the top is glossy the bottom is matte don't understand why they did that so we got tape here if you look at the top it's concave instead of flat like the original we've got two USB C's in the front power buttons here the eject buttons here which is great all right so let's take a closer look fingerprint magnet Put that over here. Take this off. This is not a very large unit. This is significantly smaller. Is there a way to take these off? I don't want to break it. Let's take a look at the instruction. That's not in English. Safety guide. Is it in the safety guide? Radio waves. Ooh. Okay. Go to the control center. Turn off the PS5. Move the AC power cord and cables and then wait for the PS5 console to cool down. Okay, that doesn't matter because I haven't done anything. Place the console with the bottom facing up. So it would have to be this way. Is what it shows. And it says there are clips here. Slightly lift the cover away from the console and detach the clips and remove it. Okay, so I would guess I would still put it this way and then okay that's actually pretty easy you just lift up and pop and then those things come out like that so this is going to be your disk drive right here this is detachable you can see it right here I'm not going to take it off, it requires screwing, but there you go, there's your detachable disk drive. So technically this is just a standard digital unit with the drive already. That's pretty interesting. So everything we reported on, everything we discussed earlier is, is true, and it's, it's weird that you've got multiple panels. Now you've got four instead of two, which almost makes me think... Now they can sell you more panels. Charge you separately. And it's like, hey, bottom panels. Hey, top panels. 50 bucks per set. All right, so we'll just put that right back in there. All right. Okay, that didn't want to clip in there. So, okay, that way.
There you go. What about the top? How do we take the top ones off? Attach the cover, align the cover clips to the holes. All right, what about the top cover? That's the bottom cover triangle. Because I need to, okay, cover triangle. That shows how you do it. For safety about removing or attaching covers, see remove and attach covers. Didn't I, didn't I just do that? Remove and attach covers, but what about the top cover? Yeah, see it doesn't say anything. What about... I guess it's the same thing. So, I'm assuming you just pull here. Yep. It's so much easier than the originals. You just pull, pop the other one you had to push down, slide forward. This is going to be where your SSD goes. You unscrew here, put it in there. Now, I did not buy an SSD upgrade for this. This already comes with one terabyte on the, compared to the original, which was what, 850 or 60 or something like that, which was weird choice, but here's the fan, significantly smaller in terms of structure, which is really cool. So let's see how this goes. Nope, nope. Did I, how does that go? Okay, but these clips, There we go. Okay. Not that shabby. So, there you go. Let's see where these clips go. You can actually see... Good job, Sony. Can we get any cheaper? That looks awful. <laughs> but there we go. So your PlayStation sits flat. I guess that's a thing, right? There you go. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. I will hook this up and do all my setup and all that other stuff. But that's the, the unboxing of this PlayStation 5. As you can see, it's much smaller. That's how you take the panels off. And yeah, pretty, pretty simple. And that's the upgradable hard drive hatch right there at the bottom so there we go nothing nothing too fancy but i do like the fact that it's smaller um am i going to get the vertical stand yes if you look at the bottom kind of like before has that there now what i'm thinking is because of the vents that go along here that's why the vertical stand had that cut out and it's lifted so this doesn't blow against the the counter because technically you could set it there but I wouldn't so if you have a counter or a shelf or whatever it's laying against yeah so I don't know how or where I'm gonna put this because my my shelving unit does not have the space for this Oof! how about that maybe I'll go take a look uh, now maybe maybe I'll do that Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Tell me what you guys think. Did you guys pick one up? Depending on when you're watching this, uh, for Black Friday, over Black Friday, did you get one for Christmas? Depending, again, when you're watching this. When did you get it? Did you get it? Are you going to get it? All that other good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.